I'm excited to introduce Matu Memoria. Matu Memoria, a language learning app that helps you structure your language learning journey around a tried and true method, repetition. There's a Latin phrase, repetitio mater memoria, which means that repetition is the mother of memory. And repetition is one of the tools we use to add structure to our data. And, and that's what it's all about. It's, about. it's about adding structure to not only our data, but to our world. You and I, are born screaming and crying into a scary and unstructured world. Families screaming because we have no words, crying because we do not understand. But soon, soon we come into contact with structure. Structure adds context, it adds meaning. Family is one structure, one of the first we come into contact with. Language is another. Some of these structures unite us, others divide us. Since the fall of the Tower of Babel, language has been something that has divided us. If you are fortunate enough to know one of the languages like English is a key example, your knowing English associates you with higher outcomes, outcomes which wouldn't be available to the rest of the world. While others in other countries, uh, much less so, poorer outcomes. And in certain situations, you may not even be able to use your language of choice to do what you need to do. In Ukraine, prior to the war, uh, textbooks in math and science would frequently be in English or in Russian. Uh, the books were in English and in Russian. They didn't have to create any books for those subjects. And and we've accepted all of this as just part of the course. We, we've accepted structures imposed upon us, and we've been powerless to meaningfully push back uh, in any way, to assert our independence, to, to, to design our own structures, and to have those structures be realized in our world. And we were drowning. Drowning in the volume, variety, and velocity of data flung from everywhere around us, from every direction, but no more. In 2017, Google, Google released their seminal research paper, Attention is All You Need, introducing us as a world to the transformer, a new class of machine learning model. Transformers are industrialized billion parameter models. ChatGPT is one, BARD is another. These are just the tip of the icebergs. These concern themselves with text. But transformers are not limited to text. Transformers work with all kinds of medium, pictures, and sequence of, sequences of pictures, which we call videos. Uh, Multimodal multi models, uh, which can communicate across these domains, uh, from natural language spoken, to text, to photo, to video. With transformers, we can add structure to our world in new ways never before possible. And just like cloud, the cloud computing model that came before, we can, when we use transformers, we can pay for it by the minute, or by the second, or in my case, by the instance. With transformers, we have it within our power to begin the world over again. So how then should we structure our world? We should structure it towards the good. And it's my hope that my application does just a little bit of that. So, let's sign in. My name is Matt Carlin, so M MacFa works. And let's do a nice complex one so we don't have to do validation again. Awesome. <laughs> Great. And let's just see if we are successfully logged in. We are. Welcome. Wonderful. So here's how it works. These are the texts. So there are, I'm using OpenAI Whisper, so it supports uh, over 80 languages uh, really well. Uh, so I have a couple hundred of, uh, a couple hundred examples and a couple of different, different languages. Latin. Thank you. 
learning one of these languages. Um, Russian, Ukrainian, and let's uh, let's try one out. So let's try one out, and let's just do Ukrainian first because it's going to be terrible. I want you to see like what the terrible looks like with this app. Awesome. So we click it. We're going to open this dialog. Open AI Whisper transcription, and we're going to start recording. I'm going to try to speak Ukrainian. Hey who, hey ha, aketo nas jita. Wonderful. So we have our translation, we have our transcription, our opening items for transcription, and it did a great job. And uh, yeah, so let's see what's this for. And how are we using Calcium for? Well, we're going to go to our user text list. Wonderful. And we have a score, uh, 85. Score is 85, 85 out of 100. And to calculate that score, we're using the Levenstein distance, which is the distance between, uh, it's, it's, it's the absolute value uh, between the change in letters of two various, of two sequences that were, that were prepared. Um, so the closer you are, the, the more accurate it is, and it, it's used frequently for machine translation tasks. Um, great. So, Again, OpenAI Whisper supports 80 languages. So just to show you that I uh, actually have other languages, uh, let's do, uh, let's try that. Awesome, this one's great. This one I had to memorize in class, which is exactly what this application is for. Galia es omnis divisa in partis track. Coronum in colon Galtai. Alion Aquitani, Hertium Quietorum Lingua Celtae, Nostra Gali Aquanum, Qui omnes linguis institutus legibus inter se differum. Wonderful, we see our results there. Let's see our accuracy. Wonderful. Oh, I did a little better. 93. Which is great. Now, we can add text here if we want to add new text. Um, but, but, that's too easy. We just type it in there and, and it, it would work. And we'll do that in, in just a second. Um, we can also upload a file from our, from our computer. And this is going to use Google's document AI. So Google's Document AI is going to see whatever is uploaded, uh, and it's going to uh, it's going to extract any text from it. It's going to provide that to us really quickly. It's really cool. Uh, but what if you don't what if you don't have a photo already? And if you did have a photo, how do you make sure that you're not including any uh, unnecessary personal information? Um, and you know, as we add structure to the data around us. Ensuring that our data is secure and private is one of the biggest challenges and it's one of the most important things. Because, and you know, as soon as you send anything to a server, you're compromising your privacy there. But there is a way we can use machine learning without having to send the data to the server. We can pre process it on the client, in the browser, so that everything we send is already processed. And the server never has our original, in this case, photo. So let me show you this. Awesome. Cool. And we're going to start the segmentation. This is going to run a semantic segmentation model on TensorFlow.js prior so that we can, let's see. Uh, all right, let's see if we can get, if it can actually get. See how? I love it. Let's see if we can. We'll try to do like the first paragraph, but I 
different shapes. So. Allow us to process 
essentially all of this previously unstructured data and to do it at scale. Yeah.